A week in the life of Chris Moyles. A week in the life of Chris Moyles. A week in the life of Chris Moyles. Week 13 of A Week in the Life of Chris Moyles. Thank you for watching. Now, I wasn't going to do a video this week, but rather than give you nothing, I've decided to show you what wasn't good enough to go in this week's video. Does that make sense? Now, if you're already subscribed, keep subscribing, um, or stay subscribed, rather. Nice one. If you're not subscribed, this is why people on YouTube bang on about it, because as soon as I do put up a video, you'll get a little email through saying, Chris has got a new video out, and then you can go and watch it. So if you are subscribed, stay. And if you're not, please subscribe. Okay, so... This week uh, has been an interesting week of different bits and bobs that I've been doing, and I want to start by talking about this. That's right, it's the S from 7 reunion. It's so exciting, I can't wait. The excitement's just too much. Doesn't matter, I like this song, especially the bit where they mention each other. Oh, it's wicked. It's 2014 and Johnny's still looking for romance. You'd have thought he, you know, would have found a little bit along the way. Anyway, let's see Paul getting down on the floor. Paul's getting down on the floor. Now, before I go on, I have to admit, I love S Club 7. And now that they're back, I'm secretly a little bit excited. I know that's pathetic. I'm a supposedly grown man, but it's S Club 7, for God's sake. <laughs> and of course, it was a medley, so they go from S Club Party into Reach. Hit it, Joe. When the world leaves you feeling blue, sing it. Sing it? You can't sing it. You can't count on me. Not the greatest vocal, but she's probably very, very nervous. She also looks like she could breastfeed a crash. Anyway, then comes Super Brad. When it seems all your hopes and dreams. I noticed that Bradley was wearing like a novelty baseball cap with what looked like a raccoon's tail hanging out the back of it. A million miles away. The thing is, I'm not gonna slag S Club 7 off because as I said, I love S Club 7. They've got a tour next year. And seriously, who would not enjoy that? Go at the pub, few beers, go see S Club 7, drunk. I mean, what a great night out. So I'm sorry I'm not slagging off S Club 7, which is why I can't use that in the clip. Even this bit. That's when your dreams will all come true. Here's the next bit of unused footage. The aftermath of my leaky boiler. The problem I've got, I can stand up here, but here, the mop just hits the roof. So I had to mop at an angle and then I had to squeeze it out up here. Hashtag first world problems. You mop the water up, put it in the thing, squeeze it out, carry on mopping, which was my least favorite of all the carry on movies. Are you still watching? Okay, you're weirder than I am. Next, my trip to Leeds. Ah, uh, the beautiful St Pancras and London on a beautiful, Rainy, horrible day. I took a trip to the amazingly refurbed King's Cross Station in London. Nice zoom. It's really nice inside. It has a Leon's. And of course, the big sign saying what platform your train is on, which only tells you about 90 seconds before your train leaves. So I'm in Leeds, me and Billy Bremner. Leeds United legend. Uh, that is Ellen Road, the theatre of disaster. And this is Tom. Hello. And that's Adam hey. from Uber. And that's Mohammed. Can I have your permission to put you on YouTube? Yes, Thanks. no problem. And I'm the first passenger uh, for Uber in Leeds, which is really exciting. Where do you go? If you've got a journey, you come to Ellen Road, to the Billy Bremner statue, and then you go in the shop, and you buy a shirt and have your picture taken. The next clip I rejected from this week's video was the weird trailer for this morning with Amanda Holden and Philip Schofield, where they made some potentially libelous allegations about Len Goodman. Coming up, find out why one in nine men pay for sex. We'll meet a man who does just that. Len Goodman, are the rumours true? We hear from the head judge himself. You can't say that. Len is an institution. He's a darling. He's a sweetheart. He's also a former boxer. So, Philip, you watch yourself. I'm excited to say I have Len Goodman on the end of this phone. Len, what do you think of Philip Schofield and Amanda Holden? Bloody big ugly ones. 
Okay, all right. Uh, did you watch that particular episode of This Morning? And if so, what did you think? It started bad and it gradually got worse and worse. It was consistent. It was terrible from start to finish. Dull, dull, dull. All right, calm down, Len, for goodness sake. Go on, I'll knock your bloody head off. Oh, 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 I don't need any of that. Anyway, back to This Morning. How did you feel when they said... Uh, those things which they never actually said about you. I felt like a school teacher with a very precocious young child. And if you'd done it again this week, I was putting you over this podium and slapping your bottom. That sounds quite exciting, Len. Take a chill pill. Yeah, all right. Um, tell me, um, you know, obviously you're a very experienced man, Len. When it comes to love making yourself, um, how do you see the art of making love? All the men have to take their shirts off. You don't see me taking my shirt off and exposing myself to everyone. Len, do you have any tips for our viewers on the art of making love? Put your arm there, stick that there, lift your shoulder, wink on three, just <laughs> chuck it all in and hope for the best. Len Goodman, thank you. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I couldn't use any of that in this week's video. It would just be uh, too ridiculous. Um, so I might have a new video next week, but quite frankly, I'm not sure because I've got to work on some other stuff which I can't bore you about. But fingers crossed I will do. We're working on a few things for the future. So keep subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And in the meantime, keep watching videos. Bye.